I am Bernice, daughter of Herod, princess of the Eastern Lands. My family are loyal servants of the Roman Empire, collecting taxes for the Caesar. But the reign of one of Rome's most decadent Caesars, the madman Nero, inspired a great disloyalty within me. For I believe that Nero's hedonistic indiscretion brought a curse on the entire Roman Empire in the form of a powerful uprising of the zealot Jews of Judea. Now, I am proud that my grandmother was a Jewess from the family Maccabees, the lineage from which the Jews' Messiah, or Savior, was prophesied to come. But these revolting zealot Jews believed in a violent, militant Savior who would come to defeat the Romans. Their latest in a string of messiahs, Eleazar, was wreaking chaos throughout the empire. Eleazar and his followers defaced my family's palaces. They raided my grandfather's tomb. And finally they succeeded in burning Rome itself. They had to be stopped. Our only hope was General Vespasian of the family Flavius. Being Rome's leading general for years, he had already crushed a religious uprising in Gaul and Brittany, completely annihilating the Druids there. So Nero called upon Vespasian to obliterate the Jewish uprising in Judea. But Vespasian had ambitions of his own to take the throne from the detestable Nero. And I, at the risk of Nero's vengeance, pledged my family's support to Vespasian and to his family Flavius, who, if successful, would take their place among the gods. Oh, for that I have been called harlot, mistress and concubine by jealous ignorant plebeians, and I admit to having flirted with the attentions of Vespasian, whose strength and military power I recognized and respected. But it was the talents of his son, Titus Flavius, that not only captured my heart and my loyalty, but inspired within me the ambition to become wife of a Caesar. So, Vespasian began the campaign against the uprising Jews. He then returned to Rome, was successfully crowned Caesar, and rightly took his place among the gods. It was then Titus who waged battle after battle demolishing the Jewish rebellion completely and declaring himself the son of a god. When the Jews refused to worship him, Titus raised the Temple of Jerusalem. He succeeded in capturing their Messiah, Eleazar, and he had him crucified. Thereafter, I began living in the Roman palace, working closely with both Vespasian and Titus, and the greatest intellectuals and scientists of all of Rome, some of which were Jews. We sought to come up with a plan that would once and for all keep the Jews of Judea pacified, ensuring that they remain obedient Roman citizens. 